Welcome back to another edition of How to Pass the Math FSA Grade Three. Um, today we'll be working on we will be working on maths.3.md.3.7, which in human language is relating area to addition and multiplication. Again, I have my little visual up here to remind you that perimeter is finding the border and area is determining what is being covered, the measurement being covered. Um, we're not really going to get into area in this video. I believe it's coming in the next video. Um, but we are going to bump up, add on a little bit to our understanding of area. In the last video, I taught you that area is counting the squares. Today, you will learn that area is, we can use addition and multiplication to determine the area to get it faster. And I speak fast. I like to go fast. So fast is good as long as fast is efficient. So without further ado, let me teach you. Example one, a park is in the shape of a rectangle shown. You got four miles and six miles. Bella, shh. My dog is just walking around the floors. Select all the ways, so this is a multi-select, to find the area, not the perimeter, but the area of the park. So, I could count all of them, but that's not my focus for this standard. I want to relate addition and multiplication. So what could I do to add? Well, I could add four plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four, because I've got four going down. Or I could do six plus six plus six plus six. Do I have any of those for addition? Here I have four plus four plus six plus six. That would be finding the perimeter, and that's not what I want. We, I'm gonna come back to this guy in a second. I have four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six fours. One, two, three, four, five, six fours. That would be a correct answer. Here I have six plus six plus six plus six. That would be a correct answer. Six plus six plus six plus six. And now I'm getting into multiplication. So we've done the relating addition, but let me show you how to do multiplication. You would just take the area equals the length times the width. So our length is four in this problem, and our width is six. So four times six would work. And you could use the, what property is that? Oh yeah, the commutative property, six times four. So those are all correct answers. Four times six times four times six would be the length times the width times the length times the width, which is not correct. It's only the length times the width one time. So that's wrong. Let me take a look at this guy right here. This would be 4 times 2. Well, let me determine what it is. 4 times my area would be 24 square miles. And what I think the answer is trying to do here is I'm trying to figure out if, it, if I can use the distributive property with this one. But let me just see. So I have 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 6 times 2, which is 12. Add those together, and I get 20, and I need 24. So that is not correct. So C, D, E, and F are all your correct answers. You have to make sure that you select all of the answers in order to get that point. By the way, if you like what, I'm, what you're seeing here, Click on the link in the description box below that will take you to a place where you can download, it's a safe place where you can download the complete guide here with this benchmark plus all of the other tested benchmarks for the FSA where I break down every single type of problem that you should expect to see along with other additional practice problems that you don't see in these videos. So check it out. All right, for example two, we have a grid item type which stands for a graphic response item display. Um, in the past, I've said I don't know how they're exactly going to grade these types of items, but I want to make sure that I'm including what you could possibly be seeing on this test. So let's take a look. 
the area of a garden is 24 square yards area so drag numbers to the boxes to represent to these boxes it says drag numbers to the boxes to represent the possible length that's this guy and width that's this guy of the garden yeah so here we go with this so it says drag when they say drag in the item the test item specifications they're referring to you actually using a computer mouse to click and drag the numbers into the correct spot but for third grade it's a paper-based test so I don't know why they're saying drag probably because one day it is going to be a computer-based test but right now we're just going to mimic what it would look like to drag them so if we know that length times width equals the area and we know that the area is 24 square inches then what times what would give us 24? Well we could do a couple of things. We could do 3 times 8. We could do 8 times 3. We could do 4 times 6 and we could do 6 times 4 and using these numbers those are the only options that I have. Um, because this side over here looks remarkably smaller than the other side over here, I'm going to put the smaller number here. So our answer could be, I'm going to choose 3 yards and 8 yards, 3 yards by 8 yards. But you could also do 4 yards by 6 yards, okay? And to drag that, I'm picking 3, so that goes there, and I'm also choosing 8 which would go there. Okay, example three, a park design is shown below. Which of the following expressions represents, should be an S there, represents a way to find the area of the park. So here's the park design, and I see that it looks like um, a rectangle, and then a smaller rectangle there. But the whole area that's being bolded out is the, um, the, area of the park. So let me first figure out. So here I've got one, two, three, four miles. One, two, three, four, five, five miles here and two miles there. <clears throat> so it wouldn't just be four times five, even though this is my length and my width, because I'm not including this two over here. And it wouldn't just be 4 times 2, because then that's only this little area right there, not including that. But if I were to add them together, 4 times 5, which is 20, like this one, and then 4 times 2, which is 8, that would give me 28. That would be a way to find the area. Um, but I'm going to make sure that D is wrong. 4 times 2, yes. Plus 4 times 6. Nope, it should be 4 times 5. If this were 4 times 5, it would be right, but 4 times 6 makes it wrong. So C is my answer. Alright, so here's example 4 in our last one for today. I only have 4 examples to meet what the item test specs are saying for this. So a swimming pool design is shown. Okay, so here's the design. What is the area in square yards of the pool? So it's this whole bolded region right there. And if I were trying to teach you about the last benchmark, I would I could just easily count up the squares. But for this one, I want to relate in the, the addition and the multiplication aspect of the standard. So what I'm noticing are is that I see two different rectangular figures. Here I've got a one, two, three, four yards. I know that this is three yards. Okay, so four times three yards would be 12 square yards. And then here I have one, two, three, four yards by one, two yards. So eight, four times two would be eight square yards. And now I have to add them together. So 12 plus 8 is 20, so the total area would be 20, don't forget your square, yards.
bada bing, bada boom, and that's it. So, gotta leave you with some words of inspiration. So, there's this guy. His name is Eric Thomas, and he goes by E.T., and he goes, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, E.T. And one of his quotes that he says that I love, I love a lot of things that he says. I listen to him like every day just to get inspired, get my head in the game. But what I love, one of the things that I love that he says is this. Make the rest of your life the best of your life. How awesome is that? Make the rest of your life the best of your life. Yeah, it may have been hard. Yeah, you may have struggled a little bit here and there may have been rough, but from here on out, try to make every single moment of your life the best 